That's Let's true. Let's now come to Ebo because that's an interesting system. Let's first start with what is the acronyms are standing okay, for? Okay, so EBO2 means extracorporeal, meaning outside the body, blood oxygenation and ozonation. So basically we're running blood. Basically it's being pulled by from one IV by a pump. Mm -hmm. It then goes into a dialysis filter that is reversed. It's upside down. That is where the ozone gas will then mix with the blood. Mm -hmm. We have more and more viruses in our body. Virus Viruses that we had mm -hmm. as children, CMV, Epstein-Barr, they become more numerous. And remember now, viruses can cause inflammation, inflammation causes aging, inflammation, etc. So we know that basically we can basically eliminate a lot of viruses through two methods. First, the ozone gas, as soon as it comes in contact with a virus, can damage its lipid envelope, so that helps uh, eliminate it. Secondly, we have ultraviolet A and ultraviolet C light. Now, ultraviolet A is more of a cell stressor. But ultraviolet C is very toxic to organisms. Ultraviolet C, because of its finicky nature, is basically damaging to viruses, mold, limes, etc. 